everyone, it's Emily from The Pinning Mama. Welcome to lesson 15. Today we are learning all about the Align Tool in Silhouette Bootcamp. If you are new here, Silhouette Bootcamp is filled with many lessons that help us um, learn the terminology used in Silhouette Studio. The Align Tool gives you the ability to correctly align parts of your design together. Um, I always would try to eyeball my design and it doesn't always work out so well. So the line tool is a way to get it perfectly straight or aligned in the correct manner of how you like it. Um, let's get started on my example. I'm going to align, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to create a monogram um, inside of a square for the back of my little girl's iPad. So. Um, First things first, I chose the monogram font. Um, Vine monogram is what this is, and it's in solid. So I typed out the letters O, L, and M. Now I want to get them perfectly spaced on here. I mean, I could eyeball it and try and get them as even as I thought. But to get them perfectly even, we're going to use the align tool. Um, the line feature. So what you do is you want to highlight your design. And you're going to go over here to the three rectangles in a row. The first thing that pops up is the align feature. Now the align feature has a lot of different ways you can align things. You can align things in the center, um, horizontally, vertically, you can do uh, this way, Whatever way you choose, I'm going to align them so that they're perfectly even in a vertical manner. So this moves your letters so they are perfectly even, um, perfectly spaced in your design. Before you click off of there, once you get it the way, where you want it, you want to group it together. Very, very important, and I'll show you why. Um, in just a second. If you don't group it together, when you go to move your design on top of your square, or rectangle, or circle, or whatever it is, and you go to, say, vertical or horizontal, it will move all the letters on top of one another, because it's trying to get it in the very center of the square. So it's important once you get that, um, the letters the way you want, the monogram the way you want that you group it together so it's all one and um, put your monog put your monogram on top of the square and you want to make sure everything's highlighted you can do a couple different things however you want it done I want it in the center you can do it to the left to the center to the right to the top center again or to the bottom um, the center of the page. That'll move your square to the center of the page. Um, so you can just kind of play around to how you want it um, done. What I wanted to do is I want the, my monogram directly in the center. So that's why I chose this one right here. So then you can see instead of eyeballing it and trying to get it I mean, pretty even or not, this gets it perfectly even in the center of your square. So if I were to move it off, I'm like, okay, I want it. You can just move it to where you want it. So that's a simple way of using the align tool to get um, two things centered uh, in the design together. It's kind of nice that you could do multiple parts of your design. If you had a design over here and you wanted to just center that on something and you had a design over here, uh, it's nice because you can just choose this, this certain area you want it to be um, aligned. So it's a great tool, a great feature. I, until I learned about this feature, used to just eyeball everything. And it works, but it's not the best. So I love this feature. I use it all the time when I'm trying to get things perfectly centered or in correct alignment. And so that's all I have for you this week. Tune in next week to learn all about the replicate feature. And thanks, guys.